Hey everyone, welcome to my digital library. Thank you for watching it, clicking on it. I don't know how, I need to come up with, to call it something. Thank you for clicking on my video. I hope you watch it. I don't know. Alright, we'll just do a quick, uh, I need to do this because I'm interrupting myself. I don't like interrupting, so it, uh, when I hear myself talk, it makes it hard to talk over myself, so. Alright. We'll just do a quick little run-through of my game, uh, digital game collection. Uh, might do two parts, like, one for the games that I have installed, another for the games ready to install, because that's almost 500 right there so <clears throat> excuse me all right let's get to it agatha christie the abc murders never played it bought it it was on sale agents of mayhem is uh, supposed to be the new saints row played a little bit of it the first mission dragged out so long i got a little bored of it seemed good for what it was but then I, something else i got and was uh more interested in Air Missions Hind is a helicopter game. It's good. I like flying games, so maybe I'll do some gameplay of that soon. Alan Wake, I played probably, I think, the end of chapter, like the second act or something. It was good, just... I was too worried about collecting and stuff instead of just playing through for the story. So, probably ruined the experience for me, but I'll go through it again. Alan Wake's American Nightmare, never played it, bought it, it was cheap on sale. Alice Madness Returns, that was a game that I bought on sale probably two years ago from a spring sale or something where they had tons of stuff on sale at once. So, um, I played a lot of it, it was good. A dark tone to it, but it was good. Creepy also. Alien, uh, da, 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 da. Alien Isolation. Yeah, put hair in my mouth. Uh, I played some of... Uh, I just couldn't, like... I don't know. I couldn't figure it out or something. Not sure if I gave it that much of a chance. Next is Another World 20th Anniversary Edition. It's like a 8-bit uh, side-scroller. Uh, people talk, it reminds me of The Sims, because they have like a weird Simless type stuff. I uh, don't know why Assassin's Creed 4 is next, but we're just doing it in the order. I have it ABC, a, ABC order, but apparently this comes before the first one, but whatever. Assassin's Creed 4, I played 2 where you get to the town. Actually, I did that on 360, this one I haven't really played much. I have all the DLCs. Actually, I w I'll go through and say I have the DLCs for this, this because it's free, the this because it's free, this, this, and then I'll just say it as I go. Uh, yeah, good game though. Haven't really got to the boat stuff though. I played the boats like uh, war, war on the water. I don't know what they call it. Uh, battleships. Uh, and I don't know, I'm just not very good at it. Just need practice. Assassin's Creed, uh, played probably about half of it, got bored. But I do want to finish it and get all the achievements. It's good. A lot of people say it's probably the weakest, but I don't know, I still like it. I like taking out every little section of the city. Next is Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I do have the DLC. I think there's one that gives you achievements. I have it, so. I uh, really never played it, to be honest, because I was trying to go through the series in order. Played half of the first one, got bored of it, then the second one I played a little bit of it, and it was fun, and I was having fun, but I think something else came out that I was uh, more interested in. 
There's some free DLCs I have. I don't. I think there's a paid one that I don't have. I'm not sure. Assassin's Creed 4 again. Wait, that is 360. So this is Xbox One. Okay. So this one I played a little bit of, but it was actually on my 360, not the backwards compatible. And this is the one I barely played. So, but I have all the DLCs for both. This Assassin's Assassin's Creed Revelations is, I uh, played a little bit of, but like I said, I didn't want to go through it too much and ruin the story or whatever, so, I have, I think, two, two DLCs, I'm not sure, and I have, yeah, Assassin's Creed Unity, I have all the DLCs, I think they're free anyways, but it's good, I played it as a kid. That's as far as I got. Assassin's Creed 3, I have all the DLCs I barely played. Uh, I just played as a guy at the beginning. I forgot what his name is. And I quit playing it because I wanted to go through this series. Assassin's Creed Origins, a uh, good, very good game, but I don't like how they took out like the sprint button. Maybe there's a setting to get it back, I don't know. But it's good good graphics good details i think i have a couple of the dlc all right uh, next i hope i don't have to redo all that anyways next is assassin's creed syndicate uh probably one of the most recent ones i played the most uh good game i have the dlcs i haven't tried any of them yet yeah it was free a while back with gold. Next is Assassin's Creed the Ezio Collection, which is just Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and Revelations. I started 2, but I didn't really get that far into it. Uh, next is Back to the Future, the game. Very fun game. Very takes you back to that first movie feeling. Well, I wouldn't say the, just the first one, but it's like the whole series feeling. It's good. Batman Telltale Series Season 1. I finished Act 1 on 360. I haven't really done anything on here. so Batman Return to Arkham. Arkham Asylum, that is. I have Arkham City, but I just don't have it installed. You'll see it in the next part. Uh... I played some of it. It's good. Better, a little bit better graphics, and I think they might have fixed stuff. I don't know. Batman, Enemy Within. But by the way, all these Telltale games I have all the uh, episodes for. Or yeah, yeah, episode. No, what do you call it? episodes? Chapters? I don't know. All the DLC for it. Uh, I haven't really started this one because I wanted to finish Batman, the first one. I think your uh, choices carry over, so that's why I haven't done it yet. Batman Arkham Knight. I have all the DLCs. Played a good, probably over half of it, and just, I don't know. It wasn't too much Batman for me, I just played something else, I think. Next is Battlefield 3. I have all the DLCs. Uh, fun game. I keep getting stuck on a part. So I haven't played it for like a year because of it. <laughs> Still love the jet flying though. The jet mission that's on the back cover of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next is Battlefield 4. I have all the DLCs of course. Because they were free for like a month or two month period where each one would be free for Battlefield 4 and Hardline. Like they'd split them up. I just made sure to get them. Good game. Uh, didn't play uh, pretty much every game in this. All my whole collection of everything. I barely played. So I guess I there for a while I was just into collecting rather than playing, but now since I have YouTube, I'm into playing. And I want to record everything I play, so we'll see how that works. But yeah, this is the only game I could actually use a marksman, marksman rifle. 
Battlefield Bad Company 2, I have the Vietnam DLC because it was free uh, recently. I don't know if it is or not anymore, but it was, never tried it. The story, I did like two missions. I like the driving. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. Next is Battlefield 1. I have the DLCs, of course. I played like to the second mission and they were just were so long. I just got a little burned out or tired of it or whatever. Battlefield Hardline, probably my favorite Battlefield of the series. Just because it's the whole police environment and I've always wanted a police game like this. Better than that Secret Service game. But I know they're not police, so. Yeah, excuse me. You got heartburn or something. Uh, yeah, it's good. I played probably, I think there's 10 on mission 5 or 6, and I just quit playing for God knows what reason. I think a game or something came out. I don't know. Bayonetta is fun. Uh, don't know if, I've, if it has DLCs or not. I never checked. <clears throat> I got to, like, after the prologue, I think I did the first two missions. Not sure. If you're wondering, I have another account that I usually play on. This is like my gaming account, I guess. So, that that one is Mr. J90. So, uh, next is, I'm just saying that because if you go through and want to see like my achievements and you don't see the game and, oh, he's a dirty liar, then that's why. Next is Beyond Eyes. I played it for like three minutes. I think I was in a hurry and I just wanted to see if it worked. Uh, it was cool. Like you, pretty much what the picture is. You just walk and there's a like a bubble around you and then you see what's in the bubble and other everything else is just white, like the, like the screen. Good. Next is Beyond Good and Evil HD. Really fun game. Uh, I was taking pictures or whatever, and I don't know where I'm at. I don't know what pictures I took, so I'm going to have to redo everything. So, Bioshock, <clears throat> I know this might disgust some of you, but I never even came close to beating any... Well, I beat Bioshock Infinite. The other two I never came even close to. It ain't that they're bad, I just... I get distracted with like another game because I'm always buying games so I'm always oh I want to play this and whatever I was playing gets put to the side so I need to lower this a bit it feels like it's too high there we go uh now it feels too low quick little adjustment I know it's still the same video but I had to cut parts so this is like an hour later from what I did uh, <clears throat> what I was saying with Bioshock, I just haven't really played it that much. Not saying it wasn't good, just pri my priorities lied elsewhere. I know I said that really weird, but whatever. Bioshock 2 is probably the weakest of the series. Uh, I don't know, I just didn't really care for it that much. And the multiplayer is really bad too. Or not bad. It worked perfectly. It is boring. And pretty dead. Bioshock Infinite the best. I have the DLC. I, actually I have a, the D, all the DLCs for Bioshock Infinite. I have one, two I think for Bioshock 2. <clears throat> Sorry just my heartburn's acting up. Uh, probably one of my favorite game series ever, Borderlands. Uh, of course, all the DLCs. I have all the DLCs for every Borderlands, but pretty good. Especially when you get some help with some special weapons from friends. Which makes the game a lot better. <clears throat> Borderlands 2. Better storyline. Has one of my favorite villains or bosses ever. Handsome Jack. The my the only other 
villain that comes close to Handsome Jack is Voss from Far Cry 3. So, yeah. Love this game. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm tired. Plus, I just got through eating that. It makes me yawn. <laughs> Alright. Enough about me. Let's continue. Brave has got it when I was free. Pretty good little movie game. Next is Bulletstorm. Full clip edition. It has the Duke Nukem. I have the Duke Nukem DLC. I was playing through as Duke Nukem. And it was fun and loving it. And then I just, I don't know why I quit playing it. My lamp is hanging off the edge. I don't like that. Uh, next is Burnout Revenge. I not really much to say about it, except it's a good Burnout game. Black Ops, one of the few Call of Duty duties I actually have beaten. <clears throat> I love the uh, zombies. Me and Andrew we used to go through that a lot. Uh, yeah. Call of Duty Ghost. A lot of people don't like. I do. I like it a lot. I like the multiplayer where you can have bots. Haven't beat the story yet. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I just got this as you saw. I played like one round, or er, a little bit of zombies. Just enough to show Andrew. And he was showing me, he sent a clip back of, like, the um, difference of my quality versus, uh, like, high def quality, which I thought mine was high def, but whatever. <clears throat> or I think mine is high def, but he showed me, like, 4K or something, I don't know. Next is my Warfare Remastered. Call of Duty My Warfare Remastered. I just got this as you saw, and you saw my playthroughs I've been doing. I need to get back in on that soon. Might even do one after this, I don't know. Because <clears throat> I go to work at 6, and it's only 2.30 now, so. See? 2.30 sucks. <sighs> oh, sorry. Better than the yawning. Alright, next is City Skylines. I love city building games. Uh, this is good. Really good. But I still think SimCity on PC is even better. I just wish they'd uh, make that into a console game. Because that would be all what I play. And sorry my allergies are really kicking my butt today. <clears throat> That's why I'm breathing weird and uh, sniffing alarms. And plus my fan's off. Usually my fan helps me breathe, but whatever. Like I said, enough about me. Click Your Heroes is a free game. You just hit X and um, uh, level up and put skills to your characters you buy. Pretty much it. Oh, and it, it goes idle. Like, I haven't logged in on this for probably a couple weeks, so I should have a lot of money waiting on me. Because it'll still play when you're offline and off. Like, even with your Xbox off, it's still making money. <clears throat> Darksiders, I played some of it. It's pretty good from what I played. But like I said, I just haven't been very good to just stick with the game for a while. Wait, is this... Alright, all storage. I just want to make sure it wasn't just my external. Alright, next is Darksiders 2. I play less of this than I have the first one, but it was good so far. Dead Space I actually did complete and got all but like two achievements, which I was happy with, but uh, really good game. Dead Space 2 is the same, but even better. And I haven't really got that far in it. Deadlight was like a uh, platformer, side scroller, uh, survival zombie game with a story. Not bad, I guess. Dear Esther, actually completed. This is one of those walking simulators. I've been kind of into those recently. Just walk and listen to the story and look at the visuals. 
pretty much it. <clears throat> Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. I want to cut all this out. <clears throat> Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. It's, I think it has a DLC like already in with in the game, so I have it on disc and digital with the DLC. So if I this doesn't have DLC, I'll just replay it that one. And it's not like Batman where you get. Uh, Two separate copies on your profile. You, whatever Deus Ex Humor of Revolution you play is the only one you get. Now I can play the director's cut and then put in the original and I'll still say it's just the original game. So I think you guys know my point. Next is Dirt 3. I still love Dirt 2 the best but Dirt 3 is good. I have the complete edition on disc which sadly... The DLCs won't transfer, or won't, the DLCs won't install from the disc on here, which I think is annoying. But yeah, good game. I might do a playthrough of it soon. Dirt Four, uh, I like. I think it's even better. Uh, yeah, more of the same. Better graphics, better cars, better rally cross. Actually, feels like you're really real rally cross next dirt showdown like a destruction demolition derby style game it's funny how they show the rally cross car on the cover and that's barely in the game but whatever <clears throat> dishonored the whole series uh this one is the first one is good i don't know which came out next was it two or death of the Death, Death of the Outsider. I, anyways, I uh, played the first one on 360. I was having fun. And then I got stuck to a part where, because I was trying to go through a playthrough where you don't kill anyone, so I can get the achievements. And I finished the level, and I, apparently I killed one person. I don't know how, but whatever. Then I quit playing it, because I just got annoyed. And I'll just do two, because... <clears throat> I'm not sure I barely barely played, but it was good. And then same with this. There's achievement you can talk to rats. In this death of the outsider. Yeah. Dragon Ball Fighters is just Marvel vs. Capcom 3, but with Dragon Ball Z characters. Or Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball Z characters. <clears throat> it's good. I'm a button masher, so. Uh, I do know some of the controls. Excuse me. I still know some combos and stuff, what I'm trying to say. Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Uh, just go through the story, but with some twist. Still wanting to get someone high level to help level me up, then I can go through the story quickly. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is more of the same. You just go through the story, but it has more of a twist. Uh... <clears throat> you get more to do on this one, and your character can transfer over, because I have, in the middle of like the town square thing, sorry there's a bug flying, in the middle of the town square thing, you can have your character from the first one, like has a little hologram statue, so that's, I like that, plus I think you get whatever your character is wearing, so... <laughs> I'll have to cut that. And here. Next is DuckTales Remastered. Barely played. But yeah. DuckTales. Side scroller, platformer, whatever you call it. Dying Light. Pretty much Dead Island. Almost the exact same buttons and everything. Earthlock. I haven't played. So I can't say anything about it. Energy cycle, you can get all the achievements in like 30 minutes or less. It's like a pizza. Uh, <clears throat> Everspace was really fun, really good graphics. But I, I haven't really played much of it. Because uh, that's how I roll. But it was really good. 
kind of a learning curve, but I heard that's a lot easier than the than the Elite Dangerous, which I still need to get. Next is F1 2014, probably the best F1 game on 360. Uh, yeah, not really much more to say about it. <clears throat> I have F1 2015 on disc, as you saw earlier. Uh, F1 2016, I have on disc also, but it's good. But F1 2017 is the best, way better than any of them. Plus, you get classic cars and like invitational events, and it's really good. <laughs> Next is Fable Anniversary. I haven't played any of. I just bought it because it was cheap on sale and I wanted to play through the trilogy. <clears throat> and I also got it for the Smart Glass achievement, but apparently that doesn't work anymore. So, kind of sucks. <laughs> Never get that. Fable 2. I have the, like, what do you call it? On disc, it's like the complete edition or whatever with both DLCs on disc. <clears throat> it's alright. I mean, it, it's good. It's not all right. I'm not saying it's bad or alright. I'm saying it's good. Fable 3, more the same, but a little weaker story from what I heard. Plus, all the DLCs are free, so I have them. I uh, probably played a little bit of it. Next is Fallout 3. Really amazing game. I actually completed the main story. It was going through the DLCs and then I just got stuck. Or I think I thought I finished it, but there's still a lot more I could have done. Next is Fallout 4. Amazing game. I actually have both on disc. I have this Fallout 3 on disc and digital, and then Fallout 4 only on disc. But I have all the DLCs. I played. Probably a good five hours of it. Still probably barely moved the story, but... I was just trying to set up my town. I'm trying to set it up like Andrew did. Because his town looks amazing. But he has PC, so he might have modded it. I don't know. <clears throat> Next is Fallout New Vegas. Just like Fallout 3, but you can aim down your sight. Plus, I think the story's a little weaker. In my opinion. And different environment of course. New Vegas is of course Vegas and Fallout 3 is Washington DC. Pretty sure it's Washington DC. Yeah because all the monuments and stuff but yeah it would have to be. <clears throat> Next is I thought I had Far Cry 3. I know I did but I don't know why it's not on here. I have it on disc so I'll just install it. Which I was going to grab it, but I have games and Venom in the way, so I'll do it later. Uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, really good. I must say, talk about Far Cry 3, because I'm going to get that on here. And actually, just so, for the sake of the video... Uh, come on. Don't make this harder than it has to be. No. Ow. I just hit myself in the head with the headphones. Alright, I need to cut all that. <coughs> <coughs> and this. Next is Far Cry 3. I am showing you or the disc. Not digital. Yeah, this is digital. Okay. That's what digital looks like, people. Deal with it. No. <laughs> Uh, I'm showing this because I had it on here. I don't know why it was erased, but yeah, it's going to be on here, like pretty much after this video, because I love this game. Very good. And then Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, a good little goofy indie game, or not indie game, arcade game, but really fun. Far Cry 4, I got the DLC, or I have the DLCs, and played probably a good two hours of it. <clears throat> like I said, with uh, every game, I just 
don't really play much. It ain't that they're bad, I just lose interest because I play something else. <sighs> Next is Farming Simulator 15. It's alright. Farming Simulator 17 is better. You get uh, in game mods that actually give you achievements. And, uh, well, the mods don't give you the achievements, but you can get the mods and still get achievements. So I have the uh, mod where you make like 10, th or 10,000 every hour. So I have like 20 of those set up, so I get like 200,000 every hour. So uh, next is Firewatch. Haven't played it. Bought it watch from watching Markiplier and looked really fun. <clears throat> Next is Forza Horizon. I beat before, but haven't on this account. It's good though. Good story. Rally is a little hard, but. Next is Forza Horizon 2, Fast and Furious. I have Forza Horizon 2 on disc. I don't know why it's not installed. I'm not going to go get that though. Even though it would probably be easier to get than the. Uh, uh, my Far Cry was, but I see Forza 6, I don't see Forza Horizon 2. I don't know, it's around here somewhere. This Gears of War, whatever. <clears throat> oh no, here it is. Bam. This actually came free with my uh, old Xbox One, the black one. So yeah, that and NBA 2K16. Next is Forza Horizon 3, probably the best Forza Horizon of of them of them all. The Blizzard Mountain is real fun. Hot Wheels is okay. I thought they could have probably did something better than Hot Wheels, but uh yeah, good game, very good racing game. Amazing looking too. Forza 6. I like because it's like actual racing on real tracks and stuff. I like having both. Where one, like the Horizon, you can go wherever, and Forza 6, you can just stay the tracks. I keep this because of NASCAR DLC. I like this NASCAR DLC rather than the NASCAR on Forza 7. Because there's, there's more drivers. More drivers' cars, I should say. Front lines, feel the war. It's all right. <clears throat> I think I beat it well, a long time ago. Probably like four, five, six, seven years ago. I don't know. I haven't beat it since. And of course, I changed my account since then, so I have to redo it. I don't even remember what account I had back then. Gears of War, me and Silent Psycho. Uh, his channel is in my recommended channels on my channel, so we played through this, and my other account, Mr. J90, has achievements of when we beat it. Gears of War 2, <clears throat> barely haven't really played. That's good though. Gears of War 3, me and Connor was going through about a uh, quarter of the way, and we just stopped playing. Uh, horde mode and stuff's fun. Me and Biff Man played a lot of horde horde mode. Gears of War Four, as you saw, I just recently got. I installed. I haven't played it. Gears of War Judgment. I played a little bit of the story. Got to like your first optional thing. Did that, and then I quit playing it. So I like the playing the bots though. That's really fun. <clears throat> Next is Gears of War Ultimate Edition, which is this remake of Gears of War. That came, I think that came with my Xbox also. So I got three games with it. Wow. I mean, I'm not complaining, but that's cool. Next is Ghostbusters. This is that really good 360 game that. 
I bought recently and I just haven't played. I played a little bit of, but I haven't really touched since. Goat Sim is a really fun game. It gets boring super fast if you don't know what you're doing. But um, my favorite is the Goat Sim MMO one, and just the music is really good for uh, MMO. Or a medieval MMO, I should say. Gone Home is another walking simulator. <clears throat> There's achievement to complete the whole game in under a minute. Which I actually got, surprisingly. You just open a chest outside the door, unlock, like, open the door, like, run up the stairs, go, like, right, left, whatever, and then go in a room and read a book, and that's the game. <laughs> so, uh, for all you people that want to know, of course, if you take your time, there's a story, and, like, I didn't say any spoilers, because it's really nothing about the story. Uh, GTA 5, good game, but GTA 4 is a lot better in my opinion. Which I like this GTA 4 rather than the episodes. <clears throat> it's just such good story, more uh, more realistic story. And yeah, I, li I really like it. I actually beat the story, and I was working on this, but I don't know why I quit playing it. Halo 3, me and Connor beat... But I have to redo it on this account. Uh, good game. Halo 3 OD ODST. Good game, but I haven't really played that much. Halo 4 is good, but I barely... Or I got to like a mission in the jungle and I just kept getting stuck. So, Halo Anniversary is just Halo remastered, pretty much. Halo Reach, me, Connor, and Connor's brother... We played through on Legendary and got uh, all the story achievements, pretty much. Uh, Halo Spartan Assault, just a top-down twin-stick shooter. It's good. Everyone loves Halo, so that's why I'm kind of not really talking about it, because everyone knows what Halo is. Oh, I thought that was my boss that just drove by. I'm like, uh-oh. I'm supposed to be at work, but not yet. Alright, Halo Master Chief Collection, everyone knows, it's all, pretty much all this up here except Halo Reach. I wish they would have put Halo Reach with it, but he's not, I guess, because it's not Master Chief. But they made Halo 3 ODST a, ODST a DLC, so, I don't know. Hydro Thunder, good little boat arcade racing game. Infinity Runner is like that Temple Run game on your phone, but for Xbox is Infinity Runner. Good, good uh, achievements you get for it. If you play like the first level and complete it, you get like 12 achievements. So <clears throat> next is Iron Wings, a uh, game that I heard wasn't very good, but I bought because it's on sale and. The only thing I don't like is you get a time limit for everything. Other than that, it's a pretty good game. Plus, I think when you get shot, it looks like, I think, blood or something gets on your screen. And I haven't saw any other flying game that does that, so. <clears throat> Barely, I play like two missions of it. That's alright. Next is Just Cause 2. Good game. I love the flying, like going to the airport and getting in a plane because I've uh, flew in the planes at the airport that always take off. It just feels like it's a real air airport because the bots take off and just fly around. That's why I like it. I have Just Cause 3. Don't know why it's on, not on here because I had it on here. But yeah, I don't know what happened to it. But I have it on disc and I have all the DLC. Late Shift is a movie game, or an, a game of an actual movie, and you just make choices. That's pretty much it. Uh, next is, well, you make choices, and then the scene plays out as whatever choice. I played probably an hour of it. Left 4 Dead is probably one of my favorite games, like zombie games, because this is real fun. 
Left 4 Dead 2 is more of the same, but with melee weapons. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga is good. <clears throat> you pretty much beat the whole story. You get like 700 or 800 achievement points. I did that, but then there's a, a lot left over. Like, collect all the bricks and all that crap. You can use cheats and still get achievements. The new Star Wars games, Star Wars games, I don't think has cheats. It's just character cheats. But the old Lego, I said Star Wars games. The the new Lego games is what I'm trying to say. The, I don't think they have like invulnerability in the stud multipliers that the old Star Wars games has or old Lego games have. Uh, yeah. I don't know what the, le or which, all Lego games, but I know, like, these two has cheats. Lego Star Wars 3 has cheats. Lego Batman, the first one, and that's it. I don't know what else. Uh, this one's good. This I had never played yet. This, I played, like, the first mission, and I missed achievement, and I got mad, so I just quit playing it. But it's still good. I'm going to have to go back to it. Life is Strange probably, besides The Walking Dead, is the first season of Walking Dead. Telltale. This, besides that, this is probably the best movie, or best story of any game. But, but the Telltale Walking Dead season 1 beats it greatly. Nothing can beat that. Life is, <clears throat> and I actually beat all the uh episodes or or whatever chapters i don't know all the dlcs for it i have all the dlcs for this too lego star wars the force awakens life is strange before the storm i played about a little bit of the first episode no i think i played the full first episode and i was getting into it but i just quit playing for i think i quit playing because like all the uh, episodes were not yet. Now they are, and I haven't even, com uh, continued on. Live Lock, or Live Lock, I don't know. It's like, the cover looks like Destiny, but it's kind of like a twin stick shooter, if I remember right. Mafia 2, I have all the DLCs, because I have the complete edition disc. Or, the installed disc with all the DLCs. I beat the story before, it's a really good story. Uh, but I haven't done any of the DLCs. And then, not, of course, not on this account. A different one. Next is Mafia 3. I was playing probably about three hours of it. Really good. Not as good as Mafia 2, but... And I should have all the DLCs for this. Marlo Blair... Marlo Briggs, I haven't played yet. Mars Warlogs... <clears throat> I played like 20 minutes of it. It was uh, good for what I saw, but I haven't touched it since. Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale Games series is good. Uh, I played about 30 minutes of it. It was really good, but I haven't touched it since. Mass Effect, I actually beat this story, but didn't really do any side stuff so i have to redo this but amazing i love the mass effect series mass effect 2 i did like half of and i haven't touched mass effect 3 i just did multiplayer i haven't did story yet your character can be transferred from one to two to three so that's cool mass effect andromeda uh, a lot of people say it's not very good I saw like glitches and stuff, but just don't worry about it. Just play for, just kind of ignore the glitches, and unless it's game breaking. But I didn't experience any game breaking glitches. Even for when I played, like they were saying, like the mouse and all was messed up. I didn't experience any of that, so I don't know. Uh, I don't have these installed, but they were going to be. Metro 2033 Redux and Metro Last Light Redux. I haven't really played much of the Metro games, but they're good. 
Metropolis Lux Obscura. They uh, called it, what are they, I heard someone call it, um, like that Gems of War game that's free, which I have on, or I thought I had on here, but apparently I have to install it. It's just like that, where it's like Candy Crush and you just smash the things, but with porn. That's how I heard it, so. I didn't buy it for that reason. I bought it because it was a easy achievement game. A friend of mine played it barely, like, or well, probably four hours or whatever, and she got like over 600 points. So I'm like, I want, I want some of that. Next is Minecraft. This is a Windows one, that the newest one that came out. I have the Xbox One version on disc. I haven't installed because apparently. When I moved my external hard drive, I lost some stuff. I think that's where Far Cry and Gems of War and that other Minecraft went. I also have Minecraft Story Mode. Season 1. I don't have Season 2 yet. Which I need to get. Sorry. Uh, Mirror's Edge. Really, really fun game. <laughs> I like it. I actually beat this. Uh, is, I got the achievement to beat it with, or, beat the game without firing a shot. Then I think it was another one, like, without taking a hard landing. So, yeah, good game. I bought, I recently bought the DLC, but I haven't played it yet. Next is Mirror's Edge Catalyst. More of the same, but a lot of people say it's different. Like, some say it's good, some bad, whatever. I just play it to play it. Uh, good though. Very good graphics from what I played. Mud Runner, Spin Tires, whatever you call it. Uh, good, but I just got lost and uh, didn't really know what to do. Next is <clears throat> a very underrated game in my opinion. Murdered Soul Suspect, a very good story. You're a detective who dies and you just solve your own murder and there's twists and turns and really cool. Plus you can help other dead people, ghosts that, I don't know how I died, please help me. And once you solve their case and they disappear in a bright light. Like their uh, death is solved so they get to go to heaven now. Next is MX vs. ATV Reflex. Was, was this the free one with gold? I think it was. Uh, good. Not really much to say. It's just MX going through trails and tracks and stuff. Nero. <clears throat> Nothing ever remains obscure. It's just a walking simulator. Really, really good visuals though. I was impressed with that one. NASCAR Heat 2, way better than NASCAR Heat 1. Has trucks, and Xfinity series, really fun game. Uh, NASCAR Heat Evolution 1. It's NASCAR, but it's, I still have that gripe where uh, steering's a bit weird. You don't get a free camera to look around your car. And plus, when you turn and hit the brakes, like normally you can just... Uh, other games, you can just drive normal but this game like it's like Ugh! like right when you do that is I don't so it makes road courses harder it uh, I don't know I just need really need to fix that because it makes me not even want to buy the next game which of course I probably will but still they need to fix it bad Need for Speed really good game it's like a remake of Underground I guess because it's always raining always wet uh, but this is free roam, you get cops chasing you, I think it's a multiplayer only game, because you're always in a, like a lobby of like, five or ten, and you can see them driving around, and they can challenge you to races, you can challenge them, whatever, I just play the story, New so you pay back, uh, kind of reminds me of Fast and Furious, really. Like the new Fast and Furious movies where they're not really real that realistic and they're like superheroes, spies or whatever. But it's good though. 
Next is Near Speed Rivals. Good police game. Uh, not really much to say about it. You're just either racer or cop, and you just do what you gotta do. Next is Never Alone. It has some stuff I can't pronounce, but it's you play as a little uh, Native American girl, and uh, you follow a fox, or the fox follows you. I think you can either play as a girl or the fox. And then after a level, or no, after you, I don't know if it's after a level or after you do something. A show like a cutscene showing the Native American culture and history and talking to like life, real real life footage of real people of Native American heritage and really good uh, information and detail and stuff. I like it. I need to finish it actually because I have Native American blood in me. I think. Uh, I don't know what kind, but, or what race, or I don't know, how, I don't know how you describe that, what, uh, culture, or I don't know, but yeah, I do have some, uh, North, uh, I about said North America, <laughs> uh, North, I didn't have, I bought, as a $5 game, you're supposed to be able to get all the achievements in like five minutes, or no, 30 minutes, but I haven't really, I haven't even opened it yet, because I don't know, uh, Outlast, I haven't really played it, Perception, I played in like 5 minutes of it, it was good, you have to keep, uh, pa like pounding your cane on the floor and the screen to her turns blue like objects, like you're seeing it through your mind. It's cool, uh, and I guess from uh, other YouTubers, if you pound the floor too much, a ghost will come kill you or something, I don't know. Perfect Dark, the remake of the 64 game, really good game. Plague, a game I'm still not very good at, but you get to manage like a flu and, oh, <clears throat> really good. Next is Numa, I guess, because the P is silent. Breath of Life. I thought it was like pneumonia, but it's not that. It's Numa. I don't know. Uh, walking Simulator with puzzles. <clears throat> Portal Two, really amazing game with amazing funny story. Portal still alive. Uh, Portal, but not as good as Portal Two. Project Cars, uh, really fun racing game, uh, has a big learning curve, like a lot of people can't handle the cars, but since that's usually what I play is racing games, I can handle most of them, some I, even I can't handle, but yeah. Uh, a game I really wish would come back online, I love Project Spark. Really, it was really fun, like, making your own games, and I never, people never, like, looked at my game, but it's still fun making them and getting a lot of achievements now. It's all shut off, but whatever. I guess it's too much of a burden to pay for the servers while people had fun, but whatever. Pure is an ATV game. Racing, whatever. It's, it's good. Uh, it's a lot like the MX versus ATV games. Next is Quantum Break. As you saw, I recently got it. I played by about, uh, oh, uh, what do you, what would you say, like 20, 30 minutes? Uh, it was good from what I saw. I didn't get in any, any combat. I was just building up the story. Next is Quantum Conundrum. I haven't, I haven't even opened it to try it. Rayman Origins is a good platformer. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, I, you will see the Rayman Legends on 
my next part where I have uh, sorry just had a stretch uh maybe I need to set up that might help my breathing and coughing and all that uh am I ready to install a Rayman Network Legends Red Dead Redemption uh everyone knows what Red Dead Redemption is really fun game I did nightmares the same but with zombies and I think you get to liberate towns which I like doing stuff like that like Far Cry 3 had ReCore is a really definitive edition is a really fun uh game of course it's a game uh but it's cool you get like a little robot dog that's around you and get to upgrade yourself or the dog and I don't know I just I really like it Red Faction Armageddon, don't know why this is installed, because I thought I uninstalled it. Uh, not saying it's bad, but like I'm going to uninstall it for a room for Far Cry 3. So It was good, Like I like shooting stuff, ex making stuff explode, all that. Refunct is like a little puzzle game, I don't know, it was like $3, and I, got, I think it was on sale for like a dollar, so I got it. This game is amazing. Rise of Tomb Raider. The graphics are so good. Everything about this game is amazing. So, get it. Roblox is free. Uh, really not much to say about it. Sorry my chair is squeaky and I'm fidgety and I can't sit still. Rocket League I got for free because I had a thing. A message from Xbox Live saying, If you get three months of gold, you'll get Rocket League for free. And I'm like... My gold was up anyway, so I'm like, alright, I'll, I'll get it uh, through Xbox Live instead of, I usually get it through GameStop or something. Or no, I think I usually got my gold at Dollar General, but now they don't do that no more. So, I've been getting it GameStop or, or digital whenever it's on sale. Rise Sun of Rome, I have on disc, it's a good movie game. I have uh, all the DLCs. Speaking of DLCs, I have all the DLCs for Rise of Tomb Raider. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Rise of Rome, really fun game. Feels like you're watching a movie. Amazing graphics for being the first Xbox One game, or one of the first. It's amazing. <sighs> Sacred Citadel is what a side scroller fighting game. Feels like uh, what's that game? Double Dragon or something. Feels like that. Not really much more to say. Saints Row 4, your president, not superpowers. And that's Saints Row. A GTA clone, so. there It's good though, I love Saints Row. The whole series is really funny. Saints Row 4, remaster. Or re-elected. But it's just remastered. The same. Saints Row Got Out of Hell is Saints Row, but you're in hell, I guess, trying to escape or whatever, I don't know. Barely played it. Saints Row the Third, uh, speaking of, I have all the DLCs for this and Saints Row 4. Uh, I think all the DLCs are already included for that one, the remaster, but I think this Saints Row the Third is my favorite of the series, and it's just really fun. Shadow Complex, I recently, like, literally bought, like, two, a week or two ago, and I haven't even started yet. And it's remastered, so, win-win. Shadow Warrior. It's a good, like, ninja-style game. I like it because you can actually chop people up and take out some frustration. Played about an hour of it, not really much more. So, can't really talk about much, but it was really fun. Chopping people up. And you actually get to see what you chop up to. Crimes, or Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishment. I had installed since it was free on Xbox, and I had never even opened it. So, it's, I had it installed for like two years. And never played it. Never even opened it, so. Sleeping Dogs, Definitive Edition, just remastered. 
It's Sleeping Dogs. It's supposed to be in the new true crime, but then they went down the Sleeping Dogs route. A uh, good little fighting driving game. So, uh, Slender the Rival, Slenderman. I haven't played. The, I played the 360 version a little bit. I just quit playing it because I got bored, and I was trying to find every collectible, and I couldn't. So, but I haven't. I haven't tried this Slender yet on Xbox One. Slime Rancher. I as I'm recording this, I played the two episodes last night. So. You just, you uh, ranch slimes and sell their poop. That's it. And each slime, there's like 20 different slimes, and each slime has their own poop, and it's different price. So it's a poop economy. So yeah. Next is Sniper Elite 3. I have all the DLCs. I have, I play like the first mission, and it, to me, it dragged out so long, I'm like, ugh. Like, it was a really fun game, but it was too long. Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed is, is free with gold now. I like the first one better. But Next is Splinter Cell Conviction, one of my favorite 360 games. I have the DLC, and it's amazing. Star Wars The Force Unleashed, I have all the DLCs for both of them, actually. Uh, good, very good game. I haven't really played much of it, but it's good from what I played. <clears throat> Force Unleashed 2, you can actually chop people up and see it. Like, it's real good. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Finally, a Star Wars Battlefront with a story, is what I gotta say. So, yeah. Excuse me. Next is State of Decay. I have the D the two DLCs, which I think come with it. Uh, I don't have this game on 360. I'm trying to get it. Or did I just... Did I recently buy that? I think I did. I think I recently bought the game and the DLCs. I'm not sure. I haven't turned on my 360 for probably about a week, so I don't know. Uh, Sunset Overdrive. A game where... The enemy is energy drinks, and they make you into a monster, and then, yeah. It's crazy, craziness. It's it's good, though. Don't get me wrong. It's just, it takes a little bit to get used, to get into, but I'm the type where I like more realistic, uh, like, stories, like games with good stories and stuff. This is just pure fun and pure craziness. But it's good. I, I do. I da, 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 da. I do want to get into it soon. Next is Super Lucky's Tale. I keep looking outside because my windows there, and every time a car drives by, it just catches my. Next is Super Lucky's Tale. Uh, see the car just went there. Uh, stay focused. Huh. Next is Super Lucky's Tale for the fourth time. I recently bought the DLC. I played probably about 20, 30 minutes of it. It's really fun. Kind of had that Spyro feel to it, which is always a good thing. And it was good. Next is Tales for Borderlands. Like I said earlier, I love this series and this game. Holds up to the Borderlands humor very, very well. And I have all the DLC episodes, and this is amazing. Rainbow Six Vegas, fun game, though, take a picture and you can be in the game, that achievement sucks. Rainbow Six Vegas 2 is more of the same, but it has like a terrorist, or both of them have terrorist hunt actually, where you just uh, shoot bots in a level, it's like hunted and, uh, busted mode or solid, it's hunted mode in Splinter Cell, kind of. Legend of Korra, I have this for 360 as well, because they removed them off the marketplace, so I had both at the same time, so I had to buy both at the same time. So yeah, good game. Little Acre is a little side-scroller story game, kind of reminds me of this uh, Monkey Island game, in a way. 
I don't know. Orange box, every gamer should have this in their collection. It's amazing. Five games for the price of one. Half-Life 2 is amazing and has the first portal and you can read it there. Team Fortress 2 and has Half-Life 2 and Episode 1. So you get Half-Life 2 episode you get Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, Half-Life 2 Episode 2, Team Fortress 2 and Portal. All for the price of one and they're amazing games. Uh, Half-Life ha has a story and you just go through the game. It's a physics physics based game so you can like throw things and stuff. Uh, Portal has a story but it's like a hour game or two hour game I don't know and Team Fortress 2 is multiplayer only and you don't even get bots like the PC so that's kind of dumb but if you have online, it's fun. Uh, the park is just a walking simulator. It's pretty funny. Uh, let's just say it's a parent that has gone crazy. And I hope that makes it uh, interesting for you to get. Does it? You really should get this. It's funny. It's dark, but it's funny and good. Sims 4. Uh, good. I like The Sims 3, but better. Uh, it's like The Sims 3, but I like Sims 4 better. There we go. Uh, you can actually have more than one family at a time, which is cool. And you just have to switch to them and load. But, uh... <clears throat> the DLCs are way overpriced. Like, I'm not paying 50 bucks, or 30 bucks for one DLC. No way. And you don't even get achievements for them, so screw that. When it gets cheaper, like, I might do like 10 bucks each, but that's my limit. Like, if it's like 5 bucks each, I'll hop all over that. But. South Park Stick of Truth, barely played, but it's good. And you, everyone knows what South Park is. Technomancer, I bought it, but never opened it. I might have opened it, but I don't think I played it. Town of Light, I think, is a walking simulator from what I saw. It's story-based. I haven't really played it. Turing Test is pretty much like Portal, but uh, it's really good, and the graphics are really good, too. And the puzzles are more, I would say, a little more complex than Portal, but it's good. Walking Dead, <clears throat> Telltale, 360, backwards compatible amazing game then I have the same well, season one the Xbox one version then I have season two for 360 season two for Xbox one Michonne for 360 Michonne for Xbox one and the season three for Xbox one they're all amazing games I haven't played uh, season three yet but I played all of the other ones and they're just amazing Still say season one's the best though, and I like the Michonne because it's it's shorter. It's only three episodes rather than the normal five. That's why it's called mini series. But I like it. I like it a little shorter than normal. <sighs> Wolf Among Us barely played. I know that's gonna not be uh, popular, but I don't know. I just when I played it, I couldn't get into it. But now that I'm actually doing recordings and stuff I'll do a playthrough of it soon uh, Thief is like to me is like uh, Dishonored to me it reminds me of it very much you, like you don't have to kill people you can just sneak by them Three Force Home is just a, like a uh, interactive book basically there's just text on the screen and you read it. Ghost Recon Wildlands. Really good game. Uh, yeah. It's huge environment. So much to do. I think to me it feels like there's too much to do. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. Not to cut that out. Ha <laughs> ha. 
But yeah, Ghost Recon Wildlands is good. Uh, next is Tomb Raider. Definitive. These definitive, just, they should just say remastered. Because it's the same exact thing. Uh, I think just definitive, you probably get DLCs with it. Which I think remasters the same way. Or is what they're doing, remasters the same way. Uh, amazing game. I love that they redid the Tomb Raider games. Because the ones for 360 are good. But these new Tomb Raider games just blow them out of the water. So, if you can get them, get them. You'll like it. Trust me. Next is Tropica 5. Penultimate edition. I just, uh... I just, like I said on my other, um... Uh, collection video you can put yourself to have unlimited money on sandbox mode and just get achievements that way that's what I do and I like city builders but this I can go like 40 years without a problem but then after that people just start getting mad and then I usually lose the elections next is unraveled as a uh, platformer and you use your string to like Solve puzzles and stuff, so it's good. Valiant Hearts: The Great War. I bought it recently, never played it, but I have it for 360 also, and I never played it for that one either. So I need to get it, or I, uh, I do have it. I need to play it, is what I'm trying to say. Dang, I've been doing this for an hour. All right, because it's 3:30. Next is Viva Pinata. You just, their pinata animals will go to your little square plot of land that looks like a disaster zone all around it, but yours is like perfectly grassed and looks really nice. And they just go there and live and they mate and then make babies and then the babies make babies and yeah. Uh, Watch Dogs. Good game. The DLCs finally came on sale, so I got the DLCs for both this Xbox One and 360 version. And just good, good game. Not like, it's kind of like a GTA clone, but you get technology stuff with it, so. Watch Dogs 2, I think, is a little better, but I haven't really played much of it. I like the story for Watch Dogs 1 a, way better than the story for Watch Dogs 2 from what I've played of it so far. So, uh, I'd recommend the first one over the second one, but the second one seems like there's more to do. Uh, Wolfenstein, the new order, is, um, Wolfenstein, you can't beat. I also have the old something, the old order, I don't know, it's under my ready to install, I have that one too. Uh, good game though. Wolfenstein 2, I just bought as you saw, and I installed it, but never opened it yet. Because I'm wanting to do a playthrough of it, but I want to finish what I have started already. Which is going to be a while, because Batman is messed up, and I have to redo two missions to get to the, back to the point where I left off. Because I forgot to make two saves, so. WRC 5, 6, and 7. 5 is the weakest, 6 is good, and 7 is probably the most realistic of them all. Uh, I think 6 is probably the best, if you go by that. 5 is real basic, 6 is detailed and uh, good, but it handles really well, and 7 is really detailed, but it handles the most realistic. Um, WWE 2K18, I have 17 with all the DLC, I have eight, all the DLC for 18. Uh, I just love WWE, WWE games. My favorite is Sting with the, the crow face paint. Always my favorite. That's why I have a Sting account that really no one knows about. Well, I have a few people that know it, but I don't really, I'm not on it that much, but I do have it like as a backup or if I just want to play by myself. <sighs> Zombie Army Trilogy, which is a sniper elite, but with zombies, basically. Really good game, but the levels are so long. But, it's cool when you, uh, like, Call of Duty Zombies, you, you train them, 
train the zombies where you make a train and they all group together then you throw a grenade and uh, zombie army trilogy I got like a 20 kill at once with one grenade so that's good the stupid skeletons though I don't like those skeletons and then last but not least for the games I do have installed is Zoo Tycoon because I saw on true achievements that it was free for japan so i just went to the japan microsoft store on on the internet explorer and got it that way i had to kind of remember how the store is for the uh, america version the u.s version because um of course it's all in japanese and you just have to remember wh what buttons what and you know, if you can do it. I don't know if it's still like that, but that's how I did it. And how you, you should try if if it's like that. Alright, this is the games I have installed, and I will uh, work, I will make the video of the games ready to install. Apps I'm not too worried about, because it's just apps I use, like YouTube and stuff, so I might just throw it in there, I don't know. But, alright, thanks for watching, and see